Last week on the Cow-Calf Corner, you recall that we visited with you about how body condition of cows uh, affects their grade and therefore their price as they're uh, culled and marketed this fall. If you look at the market news reports, you'll see that within each grade, they will have different pricing for low dressing cows, average dressing cows, or high dressing cows. What do they mean by dressing? Well, it's dressing percent. What they're looking at is the percentage of the live weight of the cow that actually will be hung up on the rail as her carcass. And those cows that are low dressing will generally have a considerably lower price per pound within each grade. Some of these low dressing cows may bring 10 to $14 a hundred weight less than higher dressing cows within their particular uh, USDA grade. What affects dressing percent? Well, the number one factor, of course, is fill. Cows that look to be very full, perhaps they've been tanked up on water before they went into the sale ring, those cows will be discounted as being low dressing percent cows because uh, the buyers know that that uh, gut fill is not going to end up on the rail, but it's only going to be uh, basically tossed away. Also, things such as uh, heavy udders, big udders, will uh, affect dressing percent. Cows that carry a lot of mud or manure on the hide, again, those are weight factors that do not show up on, on the carcass. Those are the keys that uh, probably will affect dressing percent the most. I really want to encourage producers as they cull cows this fall, don't make the mistake of trying to get them extra full before they go into the sale ring. It's counterproductive. Those buyers will recognize that and discount those cows severely enough that it'll more than make up for the additional weight that you might have been able to put on the cow. So let them go through the ring in, in normal fill and therefore certainly end up as average to high dressing cows and you'll get the better price because of that. Hey, we look forward to visiting with you again next week on Sunup's Cow-Calf Corner.